They just move away and then try to space the back air again. I don't, I don't approve of that. I wouldn't recommend it. You're, you're kind of giving up pressure. I mean, yeah, you're harassing your opponent by doing this. Like, they can't get in on you. But at the same time, you're not gaining anything. I mean, you're... I mean, unless you had him in the corner, I mean, this is okay, but... Her... Her backer is... Wait, how many frames is her backer? Eight frames? It's not really that fast. So this is really not a good move to harass, especially small characters that can probably just run under you and get like a free up smash if they see you doing this shit. I mean, you would have to like throw it out mad late like this, which is fine, but at the same time, it's not really effective pressure. Like, there's still answers to the shit that people can like shut it down. Oh, they can catch you when you jump. Like, as soon as you jump, they can just run under you. Like, all my, oh, a lot of characters. They can run under you and not smash you. Or do like an air attack and hit you because you're waiting to fall and then throw out your 8 frame move. Which is not considered really fast in this game. So, um, that's why usually I just, um, just back air and then jab if they block it. Because they try to do anything, any basic tactic, jump, whatever, you pretty much hit them out that window and you can punish them. They can't do anything. And from that jab, you can start uh, a jab pressure. A jab pressure game. You can, uh, you know, jab once, go for shit like this. Uh, jab, do that. You can jab. I wouldn't do that more. Unless you know for a fact you're probably gonna let go. But either way, they can just roll out the way and they're just open. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. As a um, pressure game reversal. Um, so you can do something like that. Just mix it up. There, there's a lot of things you can do from the jab to throw your opponent off. You can go for two jabs, or you think they're gonna block after the first one, try to grab you from the second, or they might wait for the second and then try to grab you between the third, or side step between the third, so you go one, two, and then roll behind, catch them off the side step, you know, whatever. That's, um, you know, just, just jab mix up in general. That's pretty much it. So yeah, um, back air to the turn around jab is really fucking good. A lot of characters, they don't have an answer to this. They, they really don't. They can't do anything. You can actually shut down Meta Knight this way. Like, Meta Knight cannot up you. If you back air and auto cast it properly, and you turn around to the jab, if Meta Knight tries to up your jab will hit him out of it. Because Meta Knight, when he upbeats, he's not invincible at the start, as many people think he is. He's open for 5 frames. The invincibility of an upbeat kicks on frame 6, and the hitbox comes out on frame 8. So, if you practice doing this, you can actually punish a lot of stuff, and Meta Knight, he can't upbeat you. When you start doing this, people are going to start respecting you. Like, they're not going to want to push a button, they're not going to try to roll a side step because they're just going to get hit out of it into your job. And this is a good way to keep somebody in their shield. And once you notice this, when somebody starts respecting you, you can go for mix-ups. You can go for some dangerous mix-ups and read that you couldn't before. So you don't know if your opponent's going to be on block. So, and it's another good way to get your opponent in the air. Like, for instance, if you do that and they block it, and you know for a fact they're not going to try to move because every time they got jabbed, 
You can do that, grab him, get him in the air, and then, you know, harass him. You know, you, you, you can do all that stuff, you know, do whatever you want. So, that's really a good way to pretty much get, I can say, guaranteed damage and a guaranteed kill if you get him in the air and you really go with your air jumps. Yeah, just um, have them start respecting you, the opponent in the shield. Once you know they're in the shield a lot, you can go for some pretty legitimate reads, where the chances of you getting the correct read is really high. Um, but pretty much, this to this, they have to jab, they have to block. They can't sidestep, they can't roll, they can't do anything. So you do it properly. And if they try to, they're going to get hit. They have to stay in shield. You get them to stay in shield, you pretty much have control over them. Now you can go for some reads. Like, uh, my back air to jab. I mean, back air to grab. My back air jab once, do this, do that, wait for reaction, and then grab them. You know, it's whatever. Just mix it up and do whatever you you want from there. And you pretty much get a feel of how your opponent react to what you do and you know get a point. No, all I do from the mess is fighting games and shit. So yeah, you got that. Um let me see how fair. How fast is that fair? I think the first hit is six frames. Yeah, the first hit is six frames. The second hit is sixteen frames. So um I say it's a pretty it's a pretty okay move. I mean, due to their sort short hop, it could whiff on a lot of characters. Like, even the tall ones, it, it could whiff. So you would have to do a... a landing... like a drop... a drop there. Which I guess is okay, but your opponent can still somewhat escape pressure. So if you were trying to harass somebody on their shield, I wouldn't recommend using that move too much. It's really good for like harassing somebody when they're in the air, trying to come back on stage, or if you think they're gonna jump at you. Because the six frame air move, it's pretty average. It's good. I mean, I would recommend for air move, four frames and below. I say it's probably the best. Like Morph, his pair is four frames and it has good range. So that's what I would consider a really good air move. Six frames is like about average. It's alright. You can get that, the job done with it. So I say it's pretty much used as a harassment tool. Like harassing somebody in the air. I wouldn't try to harass somebody on block or while they're standing. It's not really recommended. Um, you can actually kill with this move as well. But you have to be worried that people can actually the eye, smash the eye out of it. Especially if they see it coming. They can smash the eye out the first hit and you won't land the second one. So it kind of takes like precise spacing or whatever. So, um, yeah. Now, nah, some of the bad things, i say Xerxes cons. Um, if somebody's pressuring her, she doesn't really have any good options to get the opponent off her. Like, she has a hard time in her shield when she's being pressured. Like, uh, she can't back her if somebody's behind her. But they all cancel moves properly and it's just, they're gonna get hit. Like, people can actually hit Zero Suit. Cause remember as I said before, everybody has jump frames. So your attack won't come out. Your air attack won't come out on the exact frame that. The exact speed that it is. You gotta wait for your jump frames, you know, the squat animation, and then throw your attack. So Zero Suit's um, back there is like, what, 8 frames? If I jump, I'm thinking it. I'm thinking her jump is like three. It looks 
looks like it's three. So I'm just gonna go with three for now. So I can get the frame data on that. I haven't found it yet. So eight plus three is eleven. Eleven an eleven frame move out of shield is not really that good. There's a lot of auto cancel moves or space moves that can punish that. So she doesn't really have any get the fuck out options. I mean her up air It doesn't really hit grounded opponents. Let me see. Let me talk out the like sneaker thing. Now he's snake slouching though. Zone. 